is Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from SethMarkwood.com. Together, the three of us, that's you and the two of us, we're Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome back once again to Tobacco Advent 2018 Day 21. Woohoo! Getting real close. We're getting real close. Yeah. Wow. All right, so today's tobacco comes from our friend Rob. He says, hey, fellas, here's a sample of one of my favorite tobaccos. It's called Cowboy Coffee, and it's made by the Country Squire Tobacconist in Jackson, Mississippi. It's the first dark-fired Kentucky blend I've had, and it's really tasty. Hope you enjoy it, too. Happy holidays. I think we've had more than one from the Country Squire this year. I feel like we have as well. Uh, I don't know what. Which is cool. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Country Squire Cherokee. We did. Okay. Just a couple days ago. All right. I, 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 we read this, thought, that's familiar. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Rob, thank you. Mm. You know, somebody commented the other day about how between this point in the video to this point yeah. in the video, which is about a 20-second period where he and I were both trying to th think of an answer, we just sat there smoking and thinking. He said, that's the best part of your video, that's how and, pipe, I, and pipe that's how pipe videos be. should be. And I said, uh, he, he read it, I said, was it, was it John? Yeah. No, it wasn't John, and um, and so I commented about how you know something about well the, these really aren't pipe videos. <laughs> we're smoking, we're smoking tobacco, but if that's all this was, just us sitting and smoking, um, I wouldn't turn the camera on for that. No. No. All right. So do that. Well, more. maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do a video like that. I, I actually oh have an idea. God. I need to run by you. Oh. I have an idea. I need to run by you, but it's not for today. Thank you. Question of the day. Question of the day would you, is... Would you watch that? We need another question because we've already answered that one. All right. Question of the day is... Pick something out of your pocket or purse and share why it is important to you. I can do that. Can you do that? Yeah. You start. I'll start. Um, so this... It, uh, it's something very recent um, that I've... Oh, I've got two things I can talk about, but I won't. Uh, yeah, I will, real quick. Uh, on my keys. On my keys. Um, I have a couple of tools on here. I've got the utility key, which I've talked about before. I've got some tweezers. But I have this red tag on here that I always forget is here. It is now worn and bent and just in terrible shape. Much different from when I, I first got it. Uh, this is what we call a buddy tag um when i worked at summer camp camp friendship in palmyra virginia they're still there if you need to send your kids somewhere i'd recommend it it's great um uh they have a or at least when i was there they had a board where you had these tags and you would uh they, they put campers names on them and then they would put the tags on on a board to indicate who's in the water and and then this was also their level of uh skill yeah. and so they had different zones, and so if you were a red tag, you could only swim in a certain zone. Well, during my time at camp, um, some buddies of mine and I formed a group of, uh, we just formed a group, um, we would hang out and we would do pranks. And for multiple years I was there, we had this group, it was ongoing. And it was a slop, right? It was slop, yeah, Sausage Lovers of Prestige. Um, we would, uh, we, we labeled, we, we put our numbers, our, our membership numbers on these tags and so it started with six of us guys three from one part of camp three from another part of camp and so I was slop number five member five and that's what this hat said at one point in time um, and then we ended up by the time I left we we had had something like 25 members um, and so these were the people that were we thought were cool and knew how to have fun were there for the kids and could pull a, a prank responsibly uh, for the greater good and, and, and greater fun. You know, never anything mean. A lot of people would, would prank things that were just mean or cruel, and that was that was not our style. Uh, and so I, I carry that on my keychain. I, I don't think about it. It's, it's just always there. Um, but what I was going to grab for initially is this is something that's brand new I've started carrying. Um, for a long time, I've, I've wanted to have a challenge coin. I have a couple of challenge coins, like challenge. Military, military challenge coins. So I've, I've got... 
In the military, you get a challenge, uh, a coin that has the insignia of your branch and uh, and or the troop that you're a part of. Okay. And so I have one that's been gifted to me from my grandfather um, and then from one of my really good friends in the army. And I like the idea of having a coin around for sleight of hand, coin magic, just to have as a, I like to tinker with things. Oftentimes I take my wedding ring off and we'll, we'll mess around with that. And so I had been looking for one, I didn't find one. And when my grandmother passed, um, we were kind of looking through the house, cleaning things up, and I found in a drawer a, um, a bag of, of half dollars. And so I took uh, the bag of, of half dollars and um, have one of them sitting in this little money slot in my wallet that I haven't ever used um, and carry this around um, use it for that purpose. I only have one, the others I've set aside. Um, carrying it around for that same purpose that I wanted the challenge coins for, to tinker with on occasion. But uh, it's kind of cool and special uh, that this is something that belonged to my grandmother um, that I now have and, and, and get to carry it. It filled that desire that I had um, and also has a, a special value. And it's nice that I have, I have multiples in the event I were to ever lose one. That's that's why I don't ever carry the challenge coins I have because they're precious to me. I don't want to lose them. Um, and so uh, those are, for me, two, two sentimental things I, I carry with me now all the time. All right, cool. Um, I have got several things in my pockets that are always with me. So I'm, I'm sitting here with my with my tamper in my hand. I have another one in my pocket, <laughs> always. Um, over in this pocket, I've got my, my money clip, which is actually called a money clamp. Works kind of like, a, uh, like a, a big binder clip. And that wraps around bills and also wraps around my, my wallet. And inside of this, I carry my ever-present pocket monkey, which we've talked about again in some previous videos. Gotten to the point now where I just take this out and lay it in the tray when I go th go to the uh, airport because uh. they always see this in my money clip and take it out. They want to see it because if this has been sharpened, it's illegal. Right. So I always take this out and, and it's always a point of conversation. And you've only had it Years. taken once, right? I've had one taken in uh, Chicago at O'Hare. But the thing that I probably use almost as much as my pocket knife that actually means something to me is my stainless steel sharpie that was given to me by this guy. These are no longer available and they use refills that are no longer available. You can see you can unscrew this and so I've got a couple of the refills left. Um, I have followed instructions that I found on YouTube for how to refill these mm. which is really isn't even refilling. You're actually sticking it in, in alcohol and it helps to leach a little bit more of the uh, the mm. ink out of the the felt portion in here. Um, but I worry that one day I will not be able to refill this. And uh, so last year I bought you something that was designed to be a replacement and lost it. And I told you where to get it. Have you ever did you ever buy one of those? I looked at it. I like this. Yeah, I, know. I like this. This this one just works for me. It's a sharpie. For years before I got this. I always carry a Sharpie. You will always find in my shirt pocket here a Sharpie and a pen. And uh, one of these days, if I ever get the Apple pen to go with my iPad, yeah. <laughs> it'll also come up into my pocket. But I use the Sharpie all the time. Just tonight, we were using it to note right. some things on some packages here. Um, it just every every time somebody will say, "Anybody got a Sharpie or a marker?" I always have a Sharpie. I've, I've looked, last year for Christmas, I looked to buy replacements to see if anybody had them they, because they had stopped making them several years ago. Yeah. They sell them, uh, you can get them on eBay for about $100 I each. know, they're they, crazy. They're ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'm glad that you have that. Yeah. Um, it's a shame that it uh, um, won't be around forever. The, the item I, I mentioned I, I bought last year, it's... I forget what exactly what it's called, but it's essentially a a metallic sleeve that you can take a traditional sharpie, or you can take a pen. They have, they have different versions, and it's got both a metal bottom cap, a metal lid, and then it has a piece that slides over top and gives you a grip. 
and so you can replace it with standard Sharpies, which is what you probably will have to go to Someday. at some point. I played with that one day. I saw it at a, at a pen store, mm. and for me, it's a little bit large mm -hmm. because it's large enough to contain a Sharpie, where this one is the exact the size same a size as a Sharpie. Yeah. Um, there is, by the way, in case you're curious, in case you're Googling right now, there is a Sharpie pen that is still available. It's a little bit smaller than this one. It looks similar. I carried it for a while, and, and I like a, a click pen. I don't want a pen that I have to mess with the cap, but uh, the Sharpie one. And Sharpie from the marker. from the outside, it looks similar, but that is um, it's not a it's not a Sharpie. It's a fine point. Right. Um, it's not a marker tip. Right. So, so that's it. That's uh, I mean, I always have a knife. But that the knife I carry means nothing to me, um, except for it's my favorite. Of the ones that I that I still buy, and it's your favorite can, of the can get. It's your favorite of the ones also that you're discontinued, to but I but I I bought enough that. Oh, is it the Z knife? The Z knife, yeah. yeah. So it's a good one. How about you? I mean, if you could empty your pockets, and by the way, a video response where you show us something yeah, that's in cool. your pocket that means a lot to you would be really cool. And would enter you into the giveaway. Yeah. Otherwise, leave a comment below and. Uh, what do you think Rob, of this tobacco? Rob thinks I have smoked all of it that I put <laughs> in my pipe. I like it. Um, yeah. Rob, thank you for that. Kentucky Dark Fired. What, what was the Cowboy name? Coffee. Cowboy Coffee. From Country Squire Tobacconist. Good. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks. You guys have a great week. We'll see uh, you. No, great we'll day. See you. We'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. again tomorrow. Jeez. All right. Bye.